Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Copeland, and I'm a dating coach for women in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, helping them find love with the right man at this time in their life. And I'm so excited to be here with the 60 and Me community, helping you with some great tips that can help you make this true in your life, too. And today we're going to be starting with a really important topic, and that is what you don't know about men that could be messing up your over 50s dating life. So long before I was a dating coach, a friend and I would joke and laugh about meeting Mr. Wright. We used to get cosmopolitans and sit around like they did in Sex in the City. It was really fun. And one day we were a little tipsy. And we started talking about men because we had both dated quite a bit. And we were in our 40s and we came to the conclusion that what we were probably looking for was really a woman's personality in a man's body. Now, back then when we were laughing about this over our cosmos, I didn't know how true our little joke was. And as a woman, you go out into the dating world looking for a man you want to be your best friend, right? Well, a man's idea of being your best friend is really different than your idea might be. And that's why in this video today, I want to share with you a couple of secrets about both men and women that can totally change your future dating and relationship life. As a woman, you collect information about everything and you really fill up. And then you get to this place where you verbally want to share your life experiences with someone. And you have to have a place to dump what you are feeling. And you have to have this because you have to have space to fill up more. And when you haven't dumped it out, you begin to feel overloaded and overwhelmed in life. And once you get the emotions out, you're going to feel like a new person and life seems brighter. So the person we often want to release these emotions to is the man in our life. But when you do it, what often happens? Well, how many times have you got frustrated sharing a story with a man and all he seemed to want to do was fix the problem for you, but in your mind, nothing needed fixing. You just wanted to be heard and acknowledged because that's what makes you feel better. But for a man, he is wired to make you happy. And when you're sharing a story, he's looking for how he can fix something to make you feel more safe and protected. And we as women often don't realize that this is why they're doing that. So when you process your day with a man, you start telling him lots of stories that have nothing to do with you. It may be about your coworkers, boyfriends, sister's husband, and a man can't follow that. He can always follow, though, what you want to share about you. But when you're sharing about someone that has nothing to do with you, he doesn't know what he's supposed to fix for you. So either he starts fixing out of nowhere, or his eyes glaze over and he tunes you out which in the end drives you crazy and you get really mad. So what do you do so that you can get your needs met with the man that you're with and you can dump the story out so that you can fill up some more? Well, here's how to change that whole scenario. When you need to share a story, here's what you want to say to a man. Could you do me a favor? I just need five minutes to share something with you that's really important to me. Nothing needs fixing, but I sure appreciate you just listening. This is so easy and so simple. And a man will breathe a sigh of relief because he can just relax as you share this story. He can also pay attention for five minutes. Don't go on for 25, really contain it to five minutes. And the better thing truthfully to do is to get together with your friends and process these stories because 
That's what we need to do. That's what we're looking for, to process stories. So when you're sharing the story with the man you're with and you're getting it all out and where he knows what to do, to just listen for five minutes, you're going to feel like he is your hero supporting you the way you need it. It's going to feel so good when he can just listen. But he needs that direction from you in a sweet, soft way. And he'll be happy to, to let you share that story. Now, here's another tip about men. One of the most important things for a man is that a woman allows him to feel like the man he is. When you do, a man feels empowered and this feeling makes him want to step up and be all he can be for you. So I want to share a quick story with you. Many years ago, I was dating an electrician. He was a renowned um, electrical engineer that major companies in the States sent him abroad because he was so good at what he did. So one day, he was looking at my dimmer switches for my lights. And he said, you know, Lisa, I think we need to replace these. I didn't know anything about electricity. So I said, okay, that'd be great. He got up, he went out, he bought all the parts and pieces that he needed. He came back and he looked really cute that day. He was in like a black t-shirt and jeans and work boots and he looked great. And he got in there and he started changing those dimmer switches. Now, we as women have what I like to call the manual of we know how to do everything our way. And we think we know how to do things that maybe we don't know how to do. So what ended up happening is he's in there fixing those dimmer switches. And I go up behind him and I say, are you sure that yellow wire goes there? Now, did I know about electricity? No, I was second guessing him. And he sweetly put down whatever tool he was using. I think it was electrical pliers of some sort. And he took my face in his hands and he looked me in the eyes and he said, Lisa, if you don't let me do my job and be a man the way I know how to do it, I will never do another thing for you. And I thought about this and I went, Oh my God, I was not letting him do his job because I thought I knew how to do it better. But what I was really doing was I was emasculating him because I was basically going up behind him and saying, I don't trust you to get this job done. And you're not bringing out the, the best in a man when you do that. And a man needs your acceptance, your admiration and approval of who he is and how he lives his life. He also needs you to appreciate what he does for you. And he needs your respect for how he runs his life. If you don't respect a man, move on to someone else because a man doesn't want to look less than in your eyes. And a man also needs your encouragement to keep doing things for you. And when you encourage him and when you appreciate him and not second guess him, he will always want to step up and help you. And that's what we want from men. We need their help many times to get things done. So we don't have to do it all ourselves. Now, I want to share with you that criticizing and trying to change a man to be someone he is not brings out the absolute worst in him. He feels rejected, manipulated, and controlled by you. And when he doesn't change, you start thinking maybe it's because he doesn't love you. No, it's not that. Men just want to be themselves. So choose a man that you can let be himself. As women, we fall in love with a man's potential. Men fall in love with the real us. And then that's when we start changing them. Don't. It really does emasculate them. And it doesn't get you where you want to be. Find a man who you can accept for who he is. That's the real secret to a successful relationship. And just move on if you can't accept who he is.
I want to share with you that helping women understand men is a huge passion for me. And I'm going to be sharing more about men in the 60 and me community. And in these videos, because I see the difference it makes in women and their relationships with men, they get their needs met for the first time that like they never have. And they have much, much happier, happier relationships. And men are literally falling over themselves to help these women. And that feels good. I always say it's like magic. So use these tips and post what you've done in the comments below. And also let me know if you've ever used anything like this and how it's worked for you. I look forward to reading your comments. If no one's told you today, you are enough. And I believe in you. Lots of hugs.